When you don't go out a lot, guys, to let you know, when you don't go out a lot, when you go up to a girl, you will always have high expectations. I mean that you will always want to get the number. You will always have the need to. You will, always, you will feel like a neediness in you. Every single one counts too much. You're trying to always make sure every moment is good. You're stressed out, really. You can't enjoy it. You can ask. My man. How do you detach from the outcome? What does that mean to you? It's not being so focused on getting what I want, um, the number, the date, the girl, sex, etc. Just being there and not worrying about if I get her or not. If, um, if I don't get the, the number, it was a bad interaction. Just going in with that energy before. Just going in more present and not really not really being concerned if it goes good or bad. Do you want to learn freedom from outcome? Or do you want to learn how to stop wanting it to go good all the time? Freedom from outcome. To have freedom from outcome, you must be totally on one side. What's the opposite? Of freedom from outcome. Attached to the outcome. Well, that's the opposite of freedom from outcome. What's the op what I what I meant like? What is the complementary opposite of it? I'm not sure. Going for what you want. That's the complementary opposite. For you to be free from the outcome, all your awareness must be on, all your attention must be on going for what you want. That's the only way to be free from the outcome. When you see a woman and you're like, okay, I wanna go speak to that girl. I like her, she's attractive. You're walking up and you start to feel something inside of yourself. Maybe it's good or bad, quote unquote, as a judgment. You go up and you say hello. Now, as you're there, why are you asking me? You want that? How do you be free of the outcome? There's a reason why you're asking me that, though. Because it can't just be, how do you be free of the outcome? Because I can just tell you to focus on the other thing like I just did, but I know there's something deeper than that. What is making you say, how do I be free of the outcome? Something has pushed you to that question. What is that? Were you asking the question just to know, or do you really want to know? I really want to know. What, why do you really want to know, though? Because it gets so hard on myself when I don't go after the, um, I don't get quote unquote results because everything else is based on result basis and you compare yourself to that. Is your question, how do I be easy on myself so the approach feels better? Yes. That's your real question. To be easier on yourself is to let go of expectation. Anytime that we have expectation, the outcome is either going to be egotistically elated, it's the only two outcomes to it. Because when you expect, you're like, okay, I'm going in and I have high expectations for this because I want to get the result. I have high expectations for this. If you meet the expectation, you feel elated. You feel like uh, a relief, like, okay, fine. But that's crazy because even when you get that, the feeling is still there with it. I'm glad she didn't reject me. It's not like, fuck, this was great. It's, I'm glad she didn't reject me. Or, I'm glad that went well and I didn't fuck up. Do you see how even when you get the good part, the bad part is still attached to it? So what is it learning? It's learning that 
until you get rid of this, this will always be with it everywhere. When you don't go out a lot, guys, to let you know, when you don't go out a lot, when you go up to a girl, you will always have high expectations. I mean that you will always want to get the number. You will always have the need to. You will, always, you will feel like a neediness in you, really. It'll come off simply because you haven't been talking to enough girls. That's simply it. Guys are wondering, they're like, man, I just feel so like I'm not getting the results I want and I'm not, you know, I feel like you know, things are not going well when I go there and how do I do be free from the outcome? Because I want to enjoy it. So how do I be free from the outcome? I want to get away from my frustration. How do I be free from the outcome? This is what's really going on. But the thing underneath all of that is simply many of the times you're not going out there enough. A guy who goes out there a lot, I mean a whole lot, he will feel very different about it because he will get so many different mixed things that he will know that, okay, I've had this, but I am still getting this. And he just wants to know, how do I make this better? But the guy who only going out a little bit, every single one counts too much. It counts too much. So when you're there with the girl, you're trying to always make sure every moment is good. You're stressed out, really. You can't enjoy it. A part of me wants to go, you haven't been enjoying your interactions the last week and two weeks simply because you know that there's been a scarcity in the picture. Has there been a feeling inside of you like, I just want to enjoy this more? Yes. It's because of scarcity. That's it. You haven't been doing it enough. So the feeling that manifests on the outside is a neediness, really. That's it. But it stems from just not doing it enough. That's only it. Because me knowing you, you were, you were going out consistently at first, yeah? And because of your, you know, the, you being in the Marines and having that lifestyle, I know that that's an up and down for you to go out. It is. You need to understand also with your lifestyle that your chance of meeting a girl right now is just lower. I mean, you, you're going to be in this for what? How you, what you said, the next two years? Yeah, in a year and a half, it'll be very different. You know this. But through this period now, it just needs to be a grace with the fact that right now I can't talk to a lot of girls, simply. But you can make other things in your life just as fruitful. Talking to girls are not just like the pinnacle experience of a man. It's not. It's just one of those experiences that feel great. It does. But talking to a person you don't know is just as good as talking to a woman. Of course, you don't want to fuck the dude behind the cash register, but the girl that you, I mean, you want to have sex with the girl, but the experience of talking to somebody new is something that needs to be your focus. Because you know right now, you don't have so much choice to just go out. And if you gave up on them, you'll go AWOL. And then they'll put you in jail, right? So you can't just do that. So for now, I would say, bro, for you to enjoy this more, you need to enjoy talking to people you don't know more. Not just women. Women have probably been the focus of, I want to talk to people I don't know, and that probably stems your mind straight to women. But you need to make it a plane of people that I don't know, I'm going to start to become interactive with. Because this is a way for me to train myself socially. You actually need to go through social training, so to speak, because you're not. And let me tell you this. What makes you an introvert? I actually enjoy my alone time. It's not natural for me if I go into a party or a group full of strangers. I don't feel like initiating conversations um, easily. The easiest thing for me to do is if there's no way that I know there, just say goodbye and walk away. Your water's dripping. So, I just want to break some to all of you. Sorry to tell you, but uh, introvert and extrovert is a prison. It's a prison. The moment somebody says I'm an introvert, 
the moment that they say that, they start playing out what the extrovert does. I mean, the introvert does. Everybody who I've ever heard say introvert has played out what an introvert does. <clears throat> People who say, I want my alone time, are more comfortable being alone than with others. Now, life is not one way. Life is both. I'm more comfortable being in a group than I am being alone, is what an extrovert would say. Let's think about this. If you're one and not the other, you are imbalanced. I feel comfortable being alone, and I, really, I don't really like being around people. Being around too many people sometimes it just makes me feel suffocated. I need to go recharge my batteries. That same guy, or you, if I say it to you right now, forget about what it means to be an introvert. Forget about it. And I just want you to go up to this group and say hello. You could go in very differently, but you're going in already with the image that I'm, a, I'm an introvert and I'm going into this group. That means it's making it harder on you to go into the group because that's not me. That's what you've already told yourself. That's not me. Anybody who goes into a, a group and they're an extrovert and they say, you know, I feel better around people. I don't like being alone. It feels strange to me. They're the person who needs to be alone. If I told that person, forget about what it means to be an extrovert. Forget about it. And I want you to sit in the middle of the floor. Let's everybody, let's leave. Do, sit in the middle of the floor and just stay here. That's their balance. They are making hard on themselves to sit there with everybody gone because they say, I feel better in the group. It becomes a prison. It really does. Why do I say this? Because I used to call myself an extrovert. I used to. I used to say, I'm only good when I'm around people. I am. I used to feel like that. And I used to go like, man, I don't like people who are shy. People who are shy, they're kind of weird. They just sit there weird. I used to hate girls who were shy. I did. I used to think like, she's fucking weird. What, the, what is this? Open up. That's how I used to feel. But then when I started to step into the world, of quieting myself on the inside, I started to see the truth. I hated that because I didn't want to be that. I hated that because I felt like that's not the place, that's not me. I want girls who, I used to feel like this, I want girls who are more expressive, girls who can really just be confident, say what they want to say. That's the kind of girls I want. And if you see the girl I share love with right now, she is Oh, come here. <laughs> oh, oh, can you can't like she's like that. She is. She's like that. And I'm much more still. And there's times where I'm like really expressive like that. But as you can see, now there's a balance. The balance is both being able to be introvert and extrovert. But the moment you say I am this and not the other, you prison yourself every single time. If you say, I am an introvert, you will make it hard for you to socialize. I can tell you that right now. Because what's attached to introvert is quiet. What's attached to introvert is not being around people, being alone. But when you really look at introverts, if they really truly are alone the way they say they are, why do they still have as much chaos as those who are extrovert? Because being alone is truly being alone and connected to yourself. I mean, like being here with me, not needing those around me, just being here with me. That's being alone. Or is it, I don't want to be around people because that makes me feel uncomfortable. But I'd rather call it introvert because that seems like that's what it is. This is starting to make sense simply because you're starting to understand that there's a balance to this. Every introvert must also say he's an extrovert. If he doesn't, he's in a prison. Any extrovert who says he's an extrovert, he must say he's an introvert. If he, not, if he doesn't say that, he's in a prison. He is. I'm not introvert or extrovert. I'm just here saying 
these things to you. I know there's times where I feel like I'm more quiet, and there's times where I'm like, man, I'm just like just feeling good, and I want to do this, and, and like this, and if I was introverted right now, I'd be like, this is strange, why am I doing this? I'm more quiet, like this. And if I was more extroverted, I'd be like, you know, this feels weird, how come I just can't just talk? How come I, I would feel like that? But either side is a lie. When you can be in the middle, you can go. There's times where I enjoy being around people, and there's times where I enjoy being alone. You're not talking to the range. And what do I mean by the range? Cute all the way to extremely beautiful. You need to talk to the whole range consistently. Not just this end. Because if you just talk to this end, you think that this end doesn't offer you anything. If you just talk to this end where it's just like cute girls, you're afraid of this end. And you're like, I'm afraid of pushing myself because then I will have to face some of the things I don't want to face. Because these girls actually, for me, they really bring out my insecurities. You need to talk to the whole range. And when you're talking to the whole range, find out how can I speak to these girls the same as these girls. Never single out. So how do you do that? Talk to these girls the same as these girls. When you walk up to these girls and compliment them, genuinely compliment them. When you walk up to these girls and compliment them, genuinely compliment them. Don't call these girls over here average and these girls over here the pedestal girls. Because the moment you do that, you set up, when I walk, talk to these girls, I will treat her differently. Of course, in attractiveness, this girl over here is not as attractive as this one. Of course it's not. And of course, what we want is this girl here. Honestly, we do. But to be able to get girls who are really, really attractive, honestly, it is a learning to talk to all girls mm -hmm. the, same. the same. And how do you talk to all girls the same? Being genuine. This is the way. When I go up to a girl who is really cute, I'm not calling her sexy because it's not the truth. I can say to her, you look, no, I wouldn't take that long. I would say, hey, I, I just saw you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I love the way you look in your outfit or something like that because that's the way I feel with her. Or you are so cute that if I didn't say hello to you, then I don't know. My name is Anthony. All right, I'll say, I'll say that to her, okay? As I'm speaking to her, I'm not going into, oh, I wish you were cuter, I wish you were this, I wish you were this, I wish you were this. Maybe I should go talk to a girl that's hotter. I'm appreciating this girl because I'm here with her. I'm not wishing she was no different. The thing that guys get wrong with this is that when they're talking to a girl who's just cute, they're wishing she was hotter. They're like, I wish this girl was hotter. If you were just hotter, I promise I would do this, or I'd do this, or I'd do this. If she's a girl that, and she's attractive enough for you to sleep with for one night, let it be that. She's attractive, and I'll sleep with her for one night. But I'm not going to treat her like she's nothing simply because she's less attractive. Because I can tell you guys right now, there's girls who are just cute who would do much more for you than a beautiful girl. I can tell you that right now. There are beautiful girls that I've met. There are now the hottest, hottest girl I met last year and had sex with her. I would choose the girl I have with right now over her any day. Any day. And physically, she's more attractive than the girl I'm with now. But I would choose that, the girl I'm with now over her any day because the energetic beauty that comes from the girl I'm with now overrides her tenfold. So, that, with that being said, fuck, she was um, so amazing. Like, I just remember, I, she was so amazing. Like, I remember she was so attractive to me and so clear that I felt uncomfortable with her all the way to the bedroom, the whole way. She was that clear, actually. She actually made me be more clear, really, in many ways. 
learning to talk to her and to her the same has been the difference for me. I'm not going out looking at, oh, okay, she's cute, nah, oh, okay, she's hot, okay. The moment I do that, I am reinforcing in myself that hot girls do it for me and cute girls don't. That's what it means for you. Talk to the whole range from cute to that. Don't want the cute girl to be like this. Don't, don't be like, okay, because she's so attractive, she has all the qualities that I need because that's you being ignorant. Learn to talk to all women the same. You're going to feel different, of course, and that's fine. But learn to talk to, every, to attractive women the same. Attractive women. Not hot girls and cute girls, but attractive women the same. That's going to be key for you, attractive women. All right? Who, the ones you want to talk to. That's what I mean.